What's up guys? Welcome back to another flea market grab video. If you guys are enjoying the videos, please hit that like button. It lets me know. Drop a comment down below. I try to respond to all the comments I can. And subscribe if you're not already and you guys do enjoy these videos. I'm actually on my way right now, so let's go see what we can find. I picked these up for five, but I don't think the guy was supposed to sell them to me for five. But, oh well. <laughs> I know a lot of you guys would have left these, but for what I paid for them, I see some potential in them. So uh, I went ahead and grabbed these. I think I'm gonna have to take Spider Man for 15. Yeah, it's worth it. It's yeah. really worth it. Yeah. He's a boy. It's a it looks like, <laughs> it looks like we just put it on him. <laughs> How much is the bear? 15? Those shoes. A what? <laughs> What is up guys, welcome back to another flea market grab video. Today I picked up a couple of decent things. I picked up a little bit of everything. I got games, hats, and shoes. So let's go ahead and uh, jump in and I'm gonna show you guys what I got. As usual, we're gonna start off with the games. So for $10, I picked up this Orange Spice Nintendo GameCube control. So I actually picked one of these up a couple weeks ago, but the one I picked up actually didn't work, which sucks. Um, but this one's like, it feels like it's brand new, so I'd be surprised if this one doesn't work. Here is that other one I had. Uh, you can see it's missing the stick. I was gonna replace the stick, but it doesn't work, so there's no point. But I got this one today for $10. Next up, we have a PS Vita game, which I usually don't find um, in, at the flea markets or thrift stores. It's this one. I've never even heard of this game. It's called Exus Archive, the other side of the sky. I don't know. So originally, I was looking at this game because, it, as you can see right there, it says PlayStation TV compatible, which that's how I play my Vita games because I don't have a Vita. I have the PlayStation TV. And I was looking at this game, and the, he originally told me $20. But as soon as he told me $20, he said, you know what, go ahead and give him $15. Um, and I was still looking at it, and then he was like, you know what, give me 10. And I was actually not gonna pick it up for 10 because this game's probably only worth like $15. And it is still sealed brand new, as you can see. But I wasn't gonna get it because, like I said, I've never seen this game before, I've never played it, and it's only worth like $15. But as I was walking away, he told me just go ahead and give him five. So he went from $20 to $5 in like two minutes. I'm not a big Vita collector, like the only games I really played on it was Danganronpa and Persona 4 Golden. But I figured for only $5 for a brand new sealed PS, PS Vita game, I'd go ahead and grab it. Except for $7, uh, this game I didn't even know was on the GameCube, but it's this Dragon Lairs 3D. I had no idea this game was even on the GameCube. Uh, so when I seen it, I was like, you know, that's kind of cool. So I asked them how much they wanted. They said $8 at first, and then they told me to take it for $7. So I was like, you know what, I'll go ahead and take it for $7. The prices are kind of all over the place. Like they, the ones I looked at, they sold between like twenty to thirty-five dollars. This one is complete with the manual and everything, and it's in good shape. And I'm always looking to add to my GameCube collection, so finding something cool like this, this one's gonna stay in my collection. And then for fifteen dollars, I picked up a copy of Spider-Man on the PS4. Now this game I actually been wanting to play for a while now. My cousin's been telling me he was gonna let me borrow it and let me play it, but he's never brought it to let me play it. <laughs> So um, it's all right because I found it at the flea market for $15. I still think this game still sells for like around 40 to 50 bucks if I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong. So I was happy to find this because this is actually one that I've been looking forward to play and I can finally play it now. Those are the video games. Now I'm going to show you guys the three hats that I got. All three of these hats I picked up for $7 total. So these first two I actually got two for five. The first one is this Walt Disney Mickey Mouse hat right here. It's black and then it has like a purple suede brim which I thought was kind of cool. You got Walt Disney Mickey Mouse spelt out on the front ever since 1928. 
but on the inside there's no Disney tag or nothing like that you just have this made in the USA one size fits all tag so I don't know if there was another tag in here and then somebody ripped it out but it's alright and you can see the sweatband is a little dirty but that's expected with these old hats and then the second one this is probably my favorite of the three to be honest and that is this Team USA Sports Specialty snapback right here. You've got that big USA basketball on the front. On the side, you got USA. And then on the inside, there you got that Sports Specialties tag. So this one, I'm kind of on the fence if I want to keep this one or not. I'm not a big hat wearer. Like, if you guys see, like, I rarely ever wear hats. I do have a couple of them that I do keep, though. So I don't know if I want to keep this one because um, I really like it, but I don't know if I would ever really wear it. So I'm like 50-50 on this one, but I knew I had to grab it because I do really like this hat. And then the third hat, this one I picked up from a whole nother person, and it's this Cincinnati Bengals Shockwave hat right here. This one is by Starter. You can see Bengals, and this one is not a snapback, it's actually a Velcro back, which I'm not really a fan of, so I, didn't, I wasn't gonna keep this one anyway. She just got the logo right there on the front, and then the brown and white zigzags. And then on the inside, you got the Starter and Pro Line. So this hat's actually already been sold, so this one is gone, but still a really cool hat overall. Now we're going to get into the three pairs of shoes that I actually picked up. So this first pair uh, I paid $15 for, and it's a pair of these AirTech Challenge 3s right here. Now me personally, I've never seen this colorway. It's like a Phoenix Suns colorway, almost. Uh, and there you got the Nike logo in the back. They do have a little bit of cracking. Nothing too bad. Nike Air right there on the tongue. And the bottoms are actually still pretty good. So I've never seen this colorway before. Uh, I've had the yellow, white, and green ones twice now. And those always seem to sell pretty good. So I went ahead and scooped these up. I mean, I figured for $15, why not? I'm sure somebody's looking for this colorway. These would actually go pretty good with my Charles Barkley jersey that I got recently. But these are a size 11, so they're too big for me. Moving on for only $5, I got a pair of the Legend Blue 11s right here. The funny story behind these is the guy I asked him how much his shoes were and he told me five dollars so I was like alright well I'll take them for five bucks as you can see they're not in bad shape at all but when I took the shoes up to him and handed him the five dollars he acted like he made a mistake so I don't know if he sold these and maybe um, his wife or somebody wanted more for them but she just wasn't there but since he had told me five dollars I guess he went ahead and took it so hopefully that dude doesn't get in trouble but I got these legend blues for five dollars here's the other one they are a size five and a half, so they're really small, but for only five bucks, I can't really complain. And every single time I pick up a pair of GS11s, I always get the same comment because of the carbon fiber that they have on the bottom. For those of you who don't know, this is the way the carbon fiber looks on the GS pairs. So yeah, they're not fake. So uh, if you're gonna comment that, there's no need to. So I actually have four pairs of shoes that I picked up. I actually forgot about one pair. Um, and that pair is the Countdown Pack Jordan 9s right here. So you guys saw in the video, they were pretty beat up. Like when I picked them up, they still are. You can see like the paint's chipping, but I only paid $10 for these. And other than the paint chipping, which is, you know, that's an easy fix. Somebody can paint them pretty easily. Actually still in pretty good shape. There's no scratches or scuffing on them. Uh, the tongue is a little bit yellowed, but that can be cleaned. Just really the main issue is the paint cracking on the midsole. Here's the other one. I'm actually in the process of cleaning them, so the shoelaces are out, but you can see they still have the same, they have that same issue, the cracking on the midsole. Here's the soles. I actually took them out to clean. You can see they have that countdown pack logo. Actually, I got these for $8. I forgot he originally wanted 10, uh, but they were really dirty, like really dirty. So I asked him if he would take less, and he told me just to give him the eight bucks for them, so I gave him the $8. And I know people are not really big fans of the nines, but I figured this is the colorway that people want, so why not grab them for eight bucks? And then speaking of nines, the last pair of shoes I picked up, this one is actually for my personal collection because they are my size, and that is a pair of the Baron Nines. These are still really clean overall, as you can see. Uh, they don't look like they've been worn very much. The midsole shows some yellowing down here on the bottom, but that's just from age. That 45 on the back instead of the 23. And then the coolest part of this shoe is the pinstripe interior. So I actually don't own any nines in my collection. So I decided why not go ahead and keep these. Uh, they're in really good shape. There's no cracking on the midsole on these at all. I've been thinking about going through my collection anyway and getting rid of some stuff. So I figured I'd just sell something and then replace them with these. So those are my flea market grabs for this week, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, please hit that like button. It lets me know. Drop a comment down below and subscribe. And I will see you guys next week with another one. So later.
Facing all along, come facing twilight. 